Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android State too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. Hi, it's going everybody, welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Now, the last time we played, we've learned the basics of the game a bit, but as it turns out, I put the game on peaceful mode by mistake and there were no enemies around. So today we had to start fresh once again. My bad on that, I... <laughs> I did not know what I was doing yesterday, I was way too excited and by mistake I put the game on peaceful mode. But since we were getting used to everything, we quickly got back up on our feet. We've picked up the modern axe and the flashlight, looted around and crafted a few things like a bow and arrow and we've also found a pistol which was on a boat right down here where I am on the map and on the beach not too far away from the boat there was a rail as well for the pistol and some bullets and we can combine the gun with the rail and hopefully we'll find the scope for it as well. If you want to see the exact location of all of these items, the modern axe, the flashlight, the pistol, the rail, I will leave a link down in the description to their specific locations because I've made videos for those as well. But after getting a bit geared up and after gathering some supplies, we built ourselves a treehouse. But one of the locals would not leave us alone. He came around camp, killed my teammate, <laughs> and then he started leaping from tree to tree. So I decided to put the pistol to good use. He's dead? I shot him, but he's getting up. I shot him again, he's down. After blasting one of the locals, more and more started showing up to our camp. We took them out with our bows and arrows from, uh, from our treehouse. So we stood up in the treehouse and we did our best to take them out with the bows and arrows. And then when we go down, pick up our arrows, go back up and try and kind of defend ourselves. But as it turns out, when we take down these mutated cannibals, sometimes they drop these skin pouches that we can pick up. Yo, these guys have skin pouches, and from it I got duct tape, meds, cloth. So when you kill them, they drop skin pouches, and we can open oh, them. Yeah. The enemy AI are, are really good, and not only because they drop pouches with loot, but the way they react to us, and the way they react when we attack them and when we blast them, they even hide in piles of leaves and try to ambush us, so they're quite fun to go up against. Now we've also experimented with building some fences, the mechanic is really good, we don't select a blueprint from our blueprint book, but rather we have to have a stick or a log in our hands and then place it down on the ground and that will start the building of the fence of off the wall or whatever we're trying to build which is really cool but as per usual building the fence didn't go all that well this is really cool i like it all right these guys are just gonna jump over it though <laughs> can we make oh oh i broke it i broke it Make it easy. Yeah, I just jumped over it and it broke. We messed about the camp for a bit, we did some spear fishing, built ourselves a bed and a bird house for feathers. Whenever we build a bird house, birds will come hang out in it and they will leave behind feathers that we can later on use to craft arrows. We were also visited by a potential companion, but for right now she just comes around, takes a look and then runs away. We gotta show her that we're friendly before she can join us. But after that we decided to go around exploring and we hit up this green mark on the map and we have found something quite interesting there. He says that it's right here. It's a cave here. It's a what? Oh, it's a cave? Well, they got the flashlight. Well, let's go inside. I mean, since we're here. Let's see what this is. This is a bunker. It's a bunker. Alright, so the green circles are bunkers? No. Whoa, look at that to the left. Mm. It's huge. Oh my god. There's supplies here. A lot of them. 3D printer. 3D printer? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we can print things here? Arrows, flask, mask, nice, grappling hook, sled, mask, let's print a mask. Do you have what you need? Yeah, I put inside here. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Oh, the chair, I can't see. Oh, that thing is ugly. Well, let me do it. Do one of. Um. Mess. So you can sleep in here. Arrows. Arrows, nice. Here in the corner. How'd you switch the options? Uh, with R. R, let's see. Mask, grappling hooks, take mesh. The sled, the that? arrows, I don't know, flask, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, let's see what's this way real fast. Let's build a sled. Oh, 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 oh my god, I thought this was... I thought this was a mine, come here. 1000 millimeters, you don't have... I thought this was a mine. <laughs> I thought this was a... Is this a, a land... <laughs> I thought it was a landmine, I was like, uh oh. This place is great. Ah, this is the edge, I think. Oh no, there's a room back here. Oh my god. Watch. What is this place? Can you? No. I think this is the last no. room. Oh, we need a... We need a key card, I believe. Yeah, we need a key card to open this. There's another room here. But we oh, cannot yeah. open it. Yeah, we cannot open it because we need a key card. So our second attempt at surviving on the island went much, much better than the first one. We've managed to get some nice gear, an axe, flashlight. I've also found a stun button that we can use on our enemies. The pistol as well, which is great. We built the treehouse, which is very good against the enemies. So far, none of them climbed up there. They can climb trees. We've seen them climb trees and jump from tree to tree. But so far, none of them climbed in our treehouse. I'm assuming at some point they're going to climb up there in the house as well. But we'll have to wait and see. And the 3D printer as well, I did not expect to find that in the game. As we saw, we can print masks, which I assume is going to help us against the inhabitants of the island. Maybe if we wear it, they will not attack us. I have not yet tried it out, so we're gonna have to try it out the next time we play. We can also print arrows, a flask, a sled, so it's, it's very useful. And the printer works with this resin that we can find around the world. But yeah, there you go. That is about it for today in Sons of the Forest. I hope you've enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out with me today. And now we'll see you in the next one with some more video games. That's alright. Shit take, what the? Shit take. <laughs> he said shit take.